Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to censor videos in Shortcut. I'm going to show you two filters, a blur and a mosaic filter. So make sure you have at least 180306 because that's where the mosaic filter comes in. We're going to start by dragging in the video. All right, here we go. We're going to enable the timeline, drag the video to the timeline. And this is where we start working. You know, Shortcut does not have keyframing yet, unfortunately. So instead, we're going to select an area to censor all the time. And then at the end, when the head movement becomes a bit too much, we're going to move that area and split the video. So first, we're going to enable filters and make sure this clip is selected. Sometimes Shortcut has a bug. We're going to go ahead and press the Add Filter button. We're going to click the Show Video Filters button down here. Some people tell me they don't see it. I have so far never had that problem. Let me know in the comments, but there should be this monitor icon or something should be down here. So anyways, I'm going to press the monitor icon and add the mask effect. It's alphabetical, so just scroll down. Here we go, mask. Now we don't quite see where it is, but there is a rectangle. Now if we press this button here, it's called compositing, then we will uh, be able to see the area. So let's, for now, let's set this to yes, enable compositing. And now we're going to change the shape to an ellipse, at least in our case, that's what I want. I'm going to change the height to make it a bit bigger. Just use this. All right, all right. And we're going to set the position. I don't think, no, we cannot drag it. We have to use these bars. So horizontal, going to move it over here. Vertical, going to move it a bit up. And uh, we're going to also make it again a bit bigger. Now ah, that's too big. All right, let's, I think this is pretty much the top rightmost position of the head. Yeah, we can go a bit to the left here. We're basically trying to censor this bird's head as an example to protect its privacy, of course. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And this is where we're going to do the cut later. So this is quite a liberal selection, but we're going to go with it. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a video track. Just click this menu button here, add video track, and we're going to add some space. And what we're going to do is we're going to just click this clip, copy it, Make sure we are at the beginning, make sure that the new video track is selected, and we're going to press paste. All right, we have the same video on top of each other, on top of itself. We're going to disable compositing again. And at the bottom one, we're going to disable mask, we're going to actually remove it. At this point, I'm going to save this project because sometimes shortcut crashes. All right, save the file there. And now we're going to add a blur or a mosaic effect to the bottom one. Uh, pay attention to which is selected. So let's add a blur. We just go back to the top one, set operation to subtract and then enable compositing on the top one, but not on the bottom one. And then if we just go back to the beginning and play back a little, yeah, yeah, the face is censored all the time. So now we're just gonna switch this to the mosaic effect. I'm just gonna make the uh, tracks smaller, give us a little more space to look at. And now I'm going to go down, disable the blur, save for good measure, and add the mosaic effect. Again, in the video tab, video effects tab, mosaic. Yeah, this is just so much more classic sensor effect. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. So now we're going to take care of the ending of the video. When it lowers its head way too low, let me just go step by step here. Ah, there, there we start seeing its face. Step by step with the arrow keys, that's how I'm working here. This position. We don't have to change the bottom effect, we just have to split the track at the top, then select the smaller part. I'm going to zoom in so we can see better. And here we're going to just reposition the mask. Man, I wish I could resize this area, because I only need one filter. I'm just going to remove the uh, toolbar so I have more space. All right, so I'm going to switch a position down and a bit to the left. There we go. All right, now again, step by step, and it's flying away. Ah, there we go, we have to move it up again, so we're going to save a project, split the clip, select this one, select the mask effect, move it up. And move it to the left. Now we're going to tiptoe a few more frames. Here we go, split again. Select mask, 
move it to the left. We could also just make it bigger. So let's do let's do that actually. Width up, height up a little. And again, the last few steps, it's still censored. Oh, and again, it leaves the area. So we're gonna actually move it down some more. Step, step, step. Oh, and here we have, here we have it again. Just move it one more time. And then the bird leaves the frame. Step, step. And at this point we can split and just disable the mask. I'm just gonna save. Disable mask, and there we go. So let's take a look at the end result. This is how you mask somebody's face, censor it with uh, either mosaic or blur or both, which is not, I mean, this is a bit extreme. And you can also change the, there is a softness on the border of this. You can reduce this and make it very sharp, but I recommend you do this before you change, uh, split it into small pieces, unless, unless you are trying to achieve some kind of effect here. So we're gonna reach the end and it flies away. Whoa, that was quick. Very noticeable. Maybe a soft border is not so bad after all. Jump, 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 jump. All right, this is how you censor a video in shortcut, it's a little bit of work, but it works great. Remember, you need version 18.3.6 if you want to have the mosaic effect. Have fun editing, please subscribe to support this channel, and I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao!